do you know the problem? You're standing in front of your whiskey shelf and have no idea for which whiskey you're gonna decide? Yes, that's gonna be me right now for my first tasting video where I have no idea which whiskey I would like to introduce first. But for which whiskey I decided? You'll see in a minute. Hey guys, Holly from Risky Bus here. So in the end it's gonna be the Frisk Kinder and honestly I have no idea if I pronounce that correctly. I hope so but I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright guys, I have to admit I just bought this bottle because of the design. Yeah, sometimes I'm a victim of marketing. I yeah. But I mean hello, you have a horse on it, you have handwritten notes on it, and you have like a horse head as a cork. I mean hello, that's me. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully it will taste well, <laughs> but we'll see that in a minute. Um, the whiskey is from the Netherlands, or well, the Netherlands, um, distilled in Friesland. And they just have a daily production of about 77 bottles a day, so not really much. So, we'll see. It's distilled from 100% malt, it's a single malt, double distilled. Um, like it has like about three or four years for it and it was majored in red wine barrels, has natural color and 40% and yeah, I just had it in the glass already so let's have a look on the color maybe we just do it like that yeah, here we go I mean, that's really promising I really like that dark color it's like dark golden or something like that I really like that so we'll see what the nose says. Oh yeah, I mean you recognize that it's pretty young. You have that alcoholic smell. So it definitely needs some time. But after that you smell like it's very fruity and sweet. Like but the sweetness of dark chocolate, you know what I mean? It's really good, I really like that. You have the malt. Dark cherries. Mmm, I love dark cherries. <laughs> and like the dark grapes, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm, it's really good. And you have the red wine, a hint of red wine and cherry. So we'll see. I hope the taste, or yeah, I hope the taste will be like what the smells promises. We'll see. Just take a sip. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Oh yeah. I really like that. I was afraid um, of the alcoholic thing I smelled, but no. No alcoholic taste. It's very smooth, fruity as well. And do you know the dark grapes? You uh, taste something like that. And dark chocolate, mm, but in a good way. Oak. Um, and the malt uh, taste comes through as well, but I really like that. I really like that taste. Mm. Yeah, it's a medium finish. It's fruity again and kind of spicy, but in a good way. I really like that one. And you have again the dark chocolate. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So I really like that one. It's really harmonic. I was afraid because of the age. I mean, three or four years. It's not really that old, but. No, it's very harmonic, easy to drink, it's very gentle. I mean, it's nothing too complex, but I mean, it doesn't have to be always like that. Hmm? So, yeah, it's good, but in my opinion, a little bit more like thump, you know what I mean, would be good for it, because I think the taste could even be better with a little bit more percentage. But anyway, I really like it, and... Um, yeah, it's really delicious. I really like that one. I mean, do you ever heard of that? And if yes, um, what are your notes? I would be interested in it. Just leave me a comment. And again, I really would love to know if you have a kind of marketing bottle in your shed. <laughs> that I'm not the only one. <laughs> but yeah, if it's always like that, if the design keeps the promises, I will do that more often. And yeah, it's, it's a really good one. I really like that. And I hope you have a good day. And I say goodbye until then.